I'm Grant Garcia, an orthopedic specialist of Seattle, and today I'm going to talk about rotator cuff tears, all shapes and sizes. So in general, rotator cuff repair is one of the most common shoulder surgeries we perform. In patients over 60, most of the time we can treat them with injections and without operative management. When patients are under 60 and we're concerned about something that's longer lasting, such as night pain, inability to lift your arm, we want to consider a surgery. In most cases, I think about doing this arthroscopically. I've advanced training in this, and I find that one, I have a better recovery, and two, less scar tissue builds up. The third reason I like it is because I can identify any other problems in the shoulder, because we have this magnified scope. And I can fix most of those things through that scope, and this allows me to get you a full, complex repair of everything that's needed. I do like this in general. Also, the results are very good, and we've had seen around 95% success rate. Thinking about more complex things, maybe you've had a previous surgery, we still can do the repair, and again, arthroscopically is the way that I like to do it, because one, again, you can have more detailed visualization of any extra problems that may have been missed with the first surgery, or to, be, to identify things that need to be supplemented or added. Now, something that's more interesting is this problem patients have that have had multiple surgeries or never had their rotator cuff fixed for, let's say, five years. And some people will, be, will see a surgeon, the surgeon may say, it's not fixable. Well, there's some newer data out there and a newer procedure we call the arthroscopic superior capsule reconstruction. And let me explain in a second. But if you had come to me 10 years ago and asked me and showed me a patient or you with someone that's had this that's maybe under 60, under 50 years old with minimal arthritis and this problem, I would have told you that you would have had to have a shoulder replacement. And that's still what's offered there in some of these places. Now, nowadays we can offer this arthroscopic method. And what it is, is we place a patch over the top of the area you're missing the rotator cuff. And it acts as a fulcrum. And most patients that come in to see me, they can lift their arm maybe up here and have a lot of night pain and frustration because they've seen so many different people. When we put this patch on, we've seen excellent results both in range of motion and in pain. And that's really what the key of this surgery is. Again, the important part of it is that it's a, even though it's a dermal allograft, or we call a skin graft that's grown in the lab, it's completely inert. So no no rejection of this type of graft. Again, we've had good results, I mentioned before, um, and, it's a, and it's a complex issue we need to take care of. Now again, we can do this in a combination of both repair and additive, or do it in isolation. Now it's important to remember that not everything needs this, and a lot of times we can take care of these things with the arthroscopic rotator cuff repair. But if you've had either small tear, medium-sized tear, or multiple surgeries, and you're frustrated, or you just want to see somebody, please visit my website at www.grantgarciamd.com and book your next consultation. Thank you.